for the likes. You make me feel so special. I hope that you are wearing pants today. Let's get this party started. Let me clean the lens. Hold on. Sometimes the lens looks a little cloudy. There we go. Crisp image. Ready. Woo. All right, y'all. Let's do this. Last week, we started working on Abba's Dancing Queen. Raise your hand. Drop a little hand emoji. We're doing this or this. If you were here for last week's lesson where we started working on Abba Dancing Queen, if you were not there, that's okay. No worries. We will review and catch up. Review helps you retain information. So it's really good to review. So we're going to do a little review sesh right now. Make sure you grab the free principle. Super important to grab the free principle. There's a link down below. Uh, you missed last week's class. No, no, no. Add it to your calendar. Add it to your calendar. Add it, add it. Add it to your calendar so that you can be there for the class. Okay. Alrighty. So, Kiara, remind me if I added the full principle to our research or if it's still just the abbreviated part. Kiara is on it. Hi, Kiara. Are you at work? Well, you need to leave work. <laughs> no, just kidding. Um, these earrings are from Kayla, who is a subscriber that I bonded with on Instagram. It's the full one. All right, perfect. You always have a fancy accessory. Thank you. I try to look cute for you and like interesting, you know, so that you have fun playing with me and playing ukulele, I think like it's really cute. Okay. I had teachers like that. I had teachers who would dress up or do something nice. It could never be boring. Oh, hi Olive, how you doing? So I try to have something interesting that would inspire you or inspire your outfit. Or maybe if you see a sunflower, you'll think about your ukulele class today. That kind of thing. Nolan, hi, thank you. Nolan, um, Timmy's gonna come visit me when I practice with my band sometime. I would love it if you came too. So I don't know if you want to hitch a ride with him, but know that you are invited to come and jam and we'll make a video or something. I know my band would love it. Okay, so we had worked on Abba. Dancing Queen, the intro, so let's review it really quick. We have four beats on G, and then four beats on C. I'm down, just let me know when. Okay, I think he had gone to like Texas to do some work, and then he said when he returned, he would join the next lesson. It's on a Wednesday. It's like early afternoon, so if you can hitch a ride with him, it'd be so cool. Join your Patreon and I'm loving learning to read music. Thank you, John. If you're a Patreon, please drop an orange heart or an orange emoji. So then we have three beats on G, one on D, and then C for four beats. So it sounds a little bit like this. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, 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 up. So that, that G that's a little shorter, down, down, up, up, then D, then C. So many patrons here. Woo, woo, woo. Okay. So let's play that intro. One, two, one, two, you got this go. This is the intro. Again, one, two, uh, one, two, got this go. One more time, go. Hi, Jonathan. And then we go into the rest of the intro uh, with a D, B7, E minor. A7. Next is C and then A minor 7 or an A minor works. And then G. Yeah. Our singing note is B, which is when you put the second fret on A string. That gives you your singing note. You can dance. 
Here we go. One, two. One, two. Ready, go. Have you heard the TikTok lick of Dancing Queen? No, I have not. Can you DM it to me? Again, one, two, last time from D. Ready, go. I keep wanting to be certain. My fault. Again, one, two, one, two. just keeps make me, making me want to go back to it. Okay, so then we have a little transition. Marijo, hola! Then we have a transition. C to G. Oh, that's... We have fast, fast on C's. One, two, three. So that transition one is different. Let me bring the camera down a little bit. Okay. So we got the transition starts on C. Down, down, up, up, down, up. We're good. Hi, Berlin, Germany. Cool. We have another Berliner um, here in the chat. Well, uh, is Kristen here today? One, three, four. And then we got one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. So what I'm doing on that G, down, down, up. Let me see. Hello from Hamburg in Germany. So many Germans. Woohoo! German squad is here. Okay, so let's play intro, the full intro, starting from the G. And then you can dance, you can dance, having the time of your life. Okay, so we're gonna do all that up to transition one. Okay, here we go. One, two, one, two, the intro go. transition everything we need to set up for verse one so give me an emoji give me a red emoji if you're ready to go to verse one okay if you need a review one more time let me know you want to review and Darlene is in Sedona oh Sedona is beautiful 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 but it's hot over there right now too right I had asked my husband if we could go to Sedona to get away from the heat and he's like it's the same hot <laughs> Let me move away from this light because it's overexposing. You see how my forehead looks overexposed? So let me move a little bit. And you're saying you love this song. I'll make an official tutorial because I know not everybody can be at the live streams. And then, very hot. And then for the patrons, you'll get an exclusive play along. Because I always want to be grateful for your patronage. And if you would like to join Patreon, we're a really fun squad over there. So join us. Okay. The light looks more balanced now. 
Okay, here we go at the verse. So that's what we got going on with the verse. Let me play it for you one more time. Forward, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Right? Again, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. The next line where we have two, 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 you can do down strum. That G, you can do that way, or I think, was it Kiara? Shelly? Shelly? And somebody else. Yesterday, the patrons gave a few suggestions on how to play it there. Um, one really good one is to do like a uh, island strum, down, down, and the rest on the G. So you have um, down, down on D chord, and then the rest of it, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. So let's see if it fits. Let's try it. Let's try it. And thank you for that recommendation. And thank you for the likes. One, two from the verse. Friday night. Ready. Go. Um, and then was it Shelly? You were who? Who told me, or was it Kiara? Somebody right now said that you were playing uh, the G C E A pattern. Shelly said I was playing yesterday with the G A C picking. Okay, G E A awesome. The G E A C picking. You put your finger on G E A. And you pick those, and then C, G, E, A, C. And you can play the whole song that way. Um, yeah, 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 you can dance, you can jump, having the time of your life. Ooh, so you want to go, watch them sing, they in the dancing. add that picking pattern and it sounds really cool okay so next we have that look for a king part so I would like for you to do look on D and then for a king for a is one strum for a king is the next strum and then there's a pause give that pause a strum so look for a king pause Look for a king, pause. Let's try it together, that D to E minor. One, two, ready, go. Look for a king, pause. Look for a king, pause. Let me play the second line for you. You can join, of course, if you'd like to, but I'm gonna play it so that you can have like a um, frame of reference. Okay. Where they play the right music, getting in the swing. You come to look for a king. That's our, um, that part. Let's try it together. One, two, one, two, that whole line. Ready, go. Play, play the right music. Getting in the swing. You come to look for a king. Pause. Pause. Next verse looks 
looks very similar. So let's just go straight to verse two. One, two, one, two. You can do it. Go. Anybody could be that guy. That's exactly it though. To play we get all these good ideas. Alright, how you feeling? How you feeling? Let me know in any happy emojis how you're feeling about the song so far. Good job, all the smart cookies at home playing this. It's it feels really good, huh? Melinda, there's my mermaid. Hi. Today I'm gonna to record a reel for Instagram. Would you like it to be, Lando, like you gave me an idea. Would you like it to be funny or educational? If you would like it to be funny, give me a clown emoji. If you would like it to be educational, give me a brain emoji. Rishi, I was just giving me some brains right now. So, reels on Instagram are usually like short videos, like six, seven, 15 seconds tops. So let me know if you would like it to be funny or um, uh, educational. Can you show the finger picking for this song? Yes, Mr. K. Okay, so I'm doing, put your thumb on G string, index on C, middle on E, and ring on A. So each, each string gets a finger. I would like to pick, I would like you to pick everything but your index everything but the index so you're gonna kind of and this is how you pick you just close the fingers together okay so you're gonna pick and then the c pick and then your bass and then these are one and two and three and four and you know like when you're doing the island strum let me go at verse one when you're doing the island strum we have one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and well now you're gonna do this one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four why did i sing it like put your hand on my shoulder I just wanted to give Mr. K a demo. 
Somebody asked me for a specific line on the chorus. Let me go back to, okay. Kristen says, can you go over the second line of the chorus? You got it. And who's running? Jusada, why are you running? Oh wait, are you doing cartwheels? And everybody, let's drop some purple hearts and welcome Janeth, who is new here. Hi, welcome. I'm not really an ABBA fan, but my mom liked them. This song makes me happy and sad at the same time since she's no longer with us. Oh, I love that. I love that you can play in the memory of your mom. Um, so I, I, don't, I wouldn't say I'm not a fan of theirs or I am. Like I'm kind of, you know, because um, I, I listen to a lot of like male rock music growing up, but I'm getting into it. Okay, if anyone struggles with G-E-A-C, I recommend doing Imagine by the Beatles as practice. Oh, thank you, Shelly. Good. Okay, so let's go over the second line of the chorus. And then I also got a request from Jennifer to do transition two. Okay, so second line of the chorus is tricky. So you are wise to ask about that. So let me do it right now, and then I'll break it down. Dancing queen. G is gonna have a normal strumming. Up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. The tricky part is the later part of that line. So for tambourine, we're doing tam, tam has D chord, then G has berine. So you're gonna do down, down, up, Actually, it's down, down, up, up on G. G has down, up, up. G has down, up, up. And then now we move on to another D chord for O and then C chord. Yeah. And then C chord is going to have two down strums. So D, C, C. And G has two up strums. So let me play it. We are on the second line of chorus one, where it has like D, G, D, C, G. from tambourine down on D G is down up up and then oh yeah down 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 and then the last G is up let me play it one thank you Shelly two one two ready go dancing queen Oh, you know what? We can finish the island strum on that last G. Up, up, down, up. Gracias por esta lección. Está muy, lección. Está muy buena. Valeri Fernandez. Gracias, Valeri. Again. Dancing queen. Feel the beat on the tambourine. Oh, yeah. And then we go to that you can dance section you already learned it because we did it on in the intro you can dance you, you can jump having the time of your life oh see that girl watch that scene to get the dancing queen ah uh, como puedo formar parte de este grupo tengo un ukulele pero no sé mucho gracias uh, Janeth is asking, how can I be part of this group? I have a ukulele, but I don't know a lot. Um, ¿Prefieres que conteste en español o en inglés? And Priyasmita says, you make it so easy for us to learn ukulele. Thank you. And you know, from discussing the dif different strummings with you all today, it's making me want to add um, 
all of these cues on the boxes because the box where I put the strumming is too simple. So I'm gonna put it on my to-do to list to add the strumming cues to Dancing Queen. Because I think that would make it easy for everybody. Well, this time last year, my C string was an octave too low. So that just tells you everything you need to know. <laughs> English is Tavian. Okay. So, Jeanette, if you're just joining us and you want to know how to be a part of this group that we're doing here, I have two recommendations. One, tune in every Monday that we're here. It might seem like it's too advanced. The lessons are too advanced if you're just starting. But so many of the people that are here were watching these lessons and they were using it as like a motivation to learn faster. My other recommendation is to do the 30 day uke challenge, not the 30 day uke course, the 30 day uke challenge. And that will help you in 30 days or you can binge watch and make it less days. Um, you can you can learn how to play ukulele. So maybe from now to next Monday, you've watched like 10 of the lessons, then you'll be like super ready. Uh, uke on, Drishia just shared the link for you, Janet, for 30 day uke challenge. But keep coming every Monday to these lessons because you will learn so much here. So many of the people here were beginners and they only use these lessons on, on the live streams to grow and they practiced on their own. And for any Spanish speakers out there that want a uh, translation. Janet me acaba de preguntar que cómo puede formar parte de este grupo si apenas va empezando a tocar el ukulele. Y le estoy diciendo que haga dos cosas, que venga cada lunes a estas lecciones porque muchas de, la gente, de las personas que están aquí aprendieron a tocar solo con venir a estos live streams. Y la segunda recomendación que le di es que haga el 30 Day Uke Challenge, que es un curso que te ayuda desde el primer día a cómo agarrar el ukulele, cómo ponértelo, Y para día 30 ya estás tocando Somewhere Over the Rainbow. Alrighty, let's try uh, the chorus. Chorus 1, everybody. Here we go. 1, 2, from G. Ready, go. Dancing Queen, young and sweet, only 17. Dance. Oh, I did something wrong. Okay, that's where it goes up. Okay, got it, got it. I needed to kind of... Here we go. One, two, one, two, ready, go. Dancing queen, young and sweet, only 17. Here we go. Dancing queen, feel the beat on the tambourine, oh yeah. You can dance, you can jump, have a good time of your life. Ooh, 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 see that girl, watch that scene, look at the dancing queen. And now Jennifer had asked for a little tutorial on transition two. So we're gonna do down, down, up, up, down, up on the first chord. Same with the next. And down, down, up, up, bring it in. Now on the fourth chord, that's a G. And hi, PNG. You're gonna do down, down, up, and then up, down for C. And then again, down, down, up, up, down. Okay, that, thank you, Meredith. So the second transition sounds like this. I'm gonna go super slow. G, C, G.
please let me know what other questions you have so far and let me look at the chat transition to oh shelly m6 just added this drumming for transition to i'm gonna take a screenshot because i'm gonna add these to the songs boom okay i just took a screenshot and i'm gonna add these Thanks for the information. Thank you. Okay, so people are asking about the ukulele Bible. So the ukulele Bible is a resource that I add um, new sheets to every month and the patrons get a new version of it every month. The one that you see here is the free version that I made last year. And I, I add maybe one song a month to it for in the free version, but on the Patreon version, I try to add at least three or four. So one new one per week. Um, the patrons also get a chord melody book that's uh, growing and then they get a lessons via Zoom, replays via Zoom, play along videos. And I haven't made a vlog in a while because I feel like my life was boring for a little bit. Not boring, but uneventful. But um, I'm going to be making a vlog again soon. So I'll make one for everyone and I'll make one for the patrons. Um, nice song, nice lesson. And I started November, but I haven't found Bernadette until April. The 30 day uke challenge helped so much. Cool, 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 cool. Now, I was brainstorming about the 30 day uke challenge for this year, which will be a chord melody challenge, as you know, many of you know. And I honestly want to start with Twinkle Twinkle Little Star because I would like for anyone who finished the 30 day uke challenge to be able to complete the 30 day chord melody challenge. I might just call it chord melody uke challenge to make it shorter. Um, yes, Mr. K, you can absolutely do that. Um, so, but I want to start with something super simple. I want to make it you, everyone feel like, oh, I can do this. You know, um, when we started here with chord melody, we started with Lavia and Rose. So I feel like we started like up there and I would like to start like soft, like not softer, but easier. Um, I was looking at a sample of a book and playing Twinkle Twinkle earlier. It was so much fun. Uh, I want to print the chords. Do I need to sign to be a member? Um, no, Jeanette, I think if you're looking at the sheet on Google Documents, and you know how like in the, inside the do Google document on the window, there's like a file, and I think you can export as PDF. And once you export as PDF, it's yours. You can print it, you can save it to your tablet, you can do whatever you want. Cool. Yep, yep, and Kiara just shared the principle. Okay, I would like to play through what we've done so far and we're gonna save the outro for next week. Um, so let's play from the intro. I was waiting for some questions about how to play things, but I don't see any, so I think you're all doing just fine. If you're watching here on YouTube, by the way, drop me a comment here on the chat. Let me know where you're watching from. If you're watching on the replay, definitely put the comment down below. And uh, please hit the like button. Thank you so much. -y. Okay. Here we go. India. Okay. So, Mr. K, if you're going to switch from like picking to strumming, I recommend that you do strumming like on the high parts, like the chorus and that you do the picking on the verse. But of course, you can do whatever you want. Okay, all right, here we go. I'm watching where everybody's from. Netherlands, Sacramento, Canada, Germany, Philippines, Santa Clarita, California, Bangladesh, India, Pennsylvania. Oh, I love it. Okay, here we go, intro. Finland. Kyrgyzstan. Did I say that correctly? Probably not. Kyrgyzstan, New Jersey, France, Colorado, Alaska, Singapore. I love, I have never met a more patriotic people than the Singaporeans. Singaporeans are so in love with Singapore. I love it. I wish that like Americans had that kind of love for their country. Americans love their country, but not like Singapore, like, loves Singapore. Like, Americans are like, oh, wow, yeah, USA, like, red, white, and blue, I love my country, we're number one. But Singapore, 
Singapore is like, we will be the cleanest country in the world. We will be the most advanced country in the world. We will display three languages on the screen and closed captioning so that everybody can understand. Like they are so innovative, innovative. Um, they're forward thinking, they're, they're something else. I have a lot of admiration for Singaporeans. Okay, here we go, intro from the top, from the top. You can do picking, you can do strumming, or you, if you're more of a beginner, Jeanette, if you're more of a beginner, you can do one strum. Okay, remember to play the first line of the intro two times, please. Good luck. One, two. One, two, oh, wahoo, go. One more time, ready, go. And the verse, and not the verse, sorry, sorry, the you can dance. One, two, ready, go. I hope that you enjoyed that little play along. I'm gonna end the live stream pretty shortly just so that we, um, when you come to like practice a playthrough, you know that it happened around the 37 minute mark near the end. Now, Jeanette, are you doing the island strum? I know that one. I'm doing something very similar to the island strum. So you, the island strum is down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, right? If you look on the principal on the advanced version, I'm just down, chuck up, up, chuck up, down, chuck up, up, chuck up. And hi, Samantha, the chords are in the link down below, but my moderators are sharing it in the chat here too. And the principal is of course free for you. I make more principles that I give only to my patrons, but I like to give principles to everyone so that everyone feels like they have the opportunity to learn. Okay, so I'm gonna go live on Instagram in 13 minutes.
I woke my baby up. I think I was too excited. Thank you for the lesson. I look forward to joining the live lessons this month. Finally, some time to come here. Yay! Are you my Hannah that used to come all the time? Or are you a new Hannah? Because I had a Hannah that used to come pretty often to the channel, but I haven't seen them in a little bit. And Janet loved. Okay, awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the restroom, grab a drink, and then I'm gonna go live on Instagram and do what we just did here. But it'll be like shorter. Yes, I used to come often, but I had a stressful job the last month. Oh, okay, welcome back, Hannah. Nice to see you. I'm sorry to hear about the stress, but I'm happy you're back. I'm happy that you continue playing ukulele. Um, so let's go on Instagram. Um, if I have time, I might make a reel. You all said you wanted funny and educational. If I have time, I might make it before the live stream. But sometimes the baby sees me and she just like goes like this and wants to hug. So I might not get a chance to. Landola, thank you. Is that Kurt Cobain on your um, profile picture, Landola? I just like got really close to look at it. Feels good to be back. Have a nice week, everyone. Sweet. Yeah, the baby is a big fan of mommy. Like she loves mommy. She loves everyone. She's very loving. She's very loving to everyone. New people. Like she, if you smile at her, after she stares you down, like absorbs your face, she'll do this. And so everyone just melts with her. But if you're a familiar face, of course, she just goes like. <laughs> and if it's mommy, she jumps and wants to be held. So she's a big fan of mama uh, on my next vlog i'll make sure and and show her a little bit for the patreon fam i was the opposite of baby d as a baby of course you, you didn't like new people i think because she's like covid baby and she's been quarantined maybe when she sees new people it's like yeah i don't know you you're new let's be friends so do the Dancing Queen challenge as a reel. It's a tough one to sing to. It's a, there's a challenge? I didn't know there was a challenge. I would cry if my mommy wasn't around. Yeah, she's like that. Like, she loves my husband, but if I'm not there, she doesn't love my husband. She loves my husband when I'm there. When I'm not there, she's like, mm, where's mom? So she cries a lot. I called my mom yesterday to come just for the Zoom lesson for the patrons because she was not having it. Finally made it in the live stream. It was very nice. Yay. Oh, I didn't know there was a conga emoji. <gasps> oh, there's a conga emoji and there's not a ukulele one. Kind of bummed. Alrighty, fam. Alright, so let's meet in 10 minutes on Instagram. Love you. See you there. Ciao, ciao.